So we, before we get into the today's video for uh, gameplay by Jack Frags, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, go follow me right now. Yeah, I've got about 15k followers. That's nothing. Uh, anyways, I am now sponsored uh, with McDonald's, which is crazy. It says right here, paid partnership with McDonald's. Go check out my Instagram, check out my recent post for this, and you'll find it. It's just insane. Like, this happened out of fucking nowhere. This happened today. Anyways, in 20 minutes, look at this. I clicked on the name, McDonald's. Make sure it's a real one. 3.7 million followers. It's a legit one. Anyways, look at this. Look at this. This is insane. 25,000 likes in 20 minutes. Welcome to Call of Duty Warzone. In this video, we'll take a look at some gameplay and explain everything that this has to offer. So this is a free-to-play, standalone battle royale game based on Modern Warfare. However, you do not need to own Modern Warfare to play this. Anyone on I own Modern Warfare, but the fact that you don't Xbox have to own it, that's dope, man. Free. Tomorrow, March 10th, and play it with each A free Call of Duty Battle Royale. have cross-platform Cross-platform, man. Fuck it that. People are going to be cheating with PC. And plunder 150 players per game, with Battle Royale being the main one, and what we're taking a look at today. Warzone Battle Royale has three options for you to play solos, duos, or trios, and in typical BR fashion, the players spawn in on a dropship flying over the map and can choose where to drop. This is how the map looks, broken up into various zones, and you'll notice that when the round starts, the safe area out of the gas is already marked on the map. The developers say that this massive map has been custom built from the ground up and features incredibly detailed interior and exterior environments. You may also notice nice some of the shooting. ground war and spec ops maps here too, as well as old Call of Duty maps dotted around such as Terminal, Scrapyard, Broadcast and Overgrown. When you drop out of the plane, the only loot that you have is a pistol with a few magazines. So at least you've got some way to defend yourself if you happen to get a shredded there, dude. But of course, dotted around the map, you will find different weapons, Ooh, legendary. Gear, perks, and cash. Sometimes just on the ground, and other times in Gas boxes mask. that you can crack open. The weapons in Warzone already have attachments on them and come in varying rarities. There's no need to equip or remove specific components. You get what you're given. What can you do with that cash then? Well, a few things. If you find a buy station, at these stations you can purchase equipment, field upgrades, kill streaks, or turret tokens for fallen teammates. Here's a list of everything that you can buy right now with their relative prices. Another way to earn cash is by completing contracts. These can be collected on the map and offer up three different objectives. Bounty, Recon and Scavenger. Bounties will pick a player for you to hunt down and eliminate. Recon will have you capturing flags and Scavenger will have you searching for three specific Yeah, that's traits. awesome. If you complete these during a match, you will get rewards such as cash, rare loot and weapon XP. I mentioned previously about respawning teammates. One way to do that, like I said, was if you have enough cash and get to a buyback station. However, there is a way that your downed teammate can bring themselves back to life, and that is the Gulag. When you're eliminated in Warzone, you will be sent to the Gulag and see a short cutscene. In here, you can run around and spectate players having 1v1 battles while you wait for your turn in the queue. You can also throw rocks at the competitors too, if you're feeling a bit naughty. When it's your time to fight, feeling you will a be bit naughty. Into the mix. <laughs> That's it's funny. a small 1v1 map with a flag in the middle, a bit similar to gunfights. Now, if you win this, you will be respawned back into the game with no more second chances. If you lose, well, you better hope that your teammate has enough cash to respawn you or it's back to the lobby screen. Warzone features vehicles, after all, the map is massive, and these are a good way to get around or chase people down. At the moment, the vehicles on offer are the ATV, the SUV, the transport helo, the cargo truck, and the TAC rover. What about the health and armor system then? Well, you have a health bar and up to three armor plates can be worn at any time. It's very simple. Your health auto regenerates if you don't take damage for a while, like in multiplayer, and your armor will be depleted as it takes damage. You can carry up to five armor plates in your inventory at a time, and there's a short animation for replacing them. If you're low on health and need a quick boost, you can find stims around the level to get it back to full more quicker than usual. 
The most expensive item that you can buy in the game is a loadout drop marker for $6,000. This will mark a location Jesus. and deploy a supply drop allowing your team to pick up a loadout which includes perks. One other oh, cool thing okay. about Warzone is that it has unified progression with Modern Warfare. So for players that already own the full paid for version of Modern Warfare. Oh, all that's the sick. Did you guys see that? Already earned you can... pass items, operators, that's, that's weapons dope. and customization will carry over to Warzone and all progression earned in Warzone will count towards overall modern warfare progression so you can use it to level up and grind weapon XP. Also for players who don't own the full version of modern warfare all of the progress and items that they earn in Warzone will be rewarded to them in modern warfare should they ever choose to buy it. In addition Warzone shares the same item shop and battle pass system as modern warfare there are no loot boxes here. All in all, this is hmm. pretty straightforward to be honest, and I think what there's gonna be a link in the description to Jack Frax's channel, by the way. The leaks and rumors that we've had for this ever since he makes Warfare really good gameplay out. videos of like Battlefield, Call of Duty, the whole nine yards. I think that's great. The loot is I've been subscribed to him for like years, and I've never regretted cool. it since. We've got modern weaponry. I, think a lot I like his accent. That's what I really like, like about Jack this. And this is his accent. It's out tomorrow, there's no like crazy lead up time or overhyped marketing. It's just there. Now, the player base for this will be huge, no doubt. I think it's going to make a big splash right now. As there does 150 players be on the map the altogether. Already That's insane. It's mind blowing. VR games, at least at the moment. Now, based on what we've seen so far, I can't wait for this to release, and I'll be live is he really good? tomorrow Will he on hit him? YouTube when it launches. Oh It'll my god, he hit somebody. He did him dirty. Requests, I suppose. One would be four-man squads. I he downed like two different people as before with an RPG. Games, and I think it suits the game he didn't kill him, but well. he downed him. Second would be... I don't like how frequently people are appearing on the minimap here for a BR game. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Third, I'd lose the two airstrike kill streaks and make this just about gun skill primarily. And fourth, playing devil's advocate, are there going to be hit rage issues and lag here with such a big map and so many players? And also, with it being free to play, I hope, <laughs> I really hope that the developers have implemented a solid anti-cheat system here and are doing hardware bans to stop repeat offenders. Either way, it's going to be really interesting to follow this one, and I hope that Warzone is supported long term as a live service title with regular content. There's still a lot of question marks here, of course, but if all goes to plan, it looks like Call of Duty Battle Royale, or Warzone as it's now known, is off to a promising start. With that said, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. But I've cut up some best bits and highlights of the gameplay footage that you can watch. Yeah, he's got some good editing in this. Like, really good gameplay. I love it. Top. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the gameplay. This is Tracker 3 1, good copy. Track you back.
You can't die! I want to let you guys know that Swag XBO recently just hit a million subscribers on YouTube, and he's doing a partnership with Scuff, believe it or not. And the controller that he's grabbing right now is the newest controller that he has right now with Scuff. If I were you, there's a link in the description down below. Click it, go cap that while you can. I'm grabbing it as soon as I can. Without that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do, don't forget to drop a like. If you guys know who Swag is, definitely drop a like. Stay cheesy. I hope you guys enjoy this one, man. As much as you did the last one. Anyways, y'all, take care.